That's it. It's over, isn't it? Yes, evil has been imprisoned, locked away. The ledges of old have been mirrored in our actions today. No, we've done far more than the legends ever told. We've destroyed the Demon King's body. He can never come back. That's right, and we have you all to thank for it. And another thing. In that ancient battle, it took the might of the five heroes to do what we did. We did not have their extraordinary power to draw upon. No, we didn't. We conquered darkness and restored peace to the land, thanks to you. I mean, the princesses had this all along. It was because you never gave in. You never stopped fighting. Not none of you. Not once. Thank you. This means we've accomplished our mission. I must relay the good news to King Hayden at once. Yes, I'm sure Father will be most pleased. Brother, this means peace will be restored, doesn't it? Shall I fly back to Freelia and let him know how I destroyed the Demon King? There's no need to rush. I'm sure he knows. After all, we were together, and that ensured our victory. We have to give credit to Erica as well, who did 100 of the damage. Thanks, Erica. I said, princesses have this. Of course, princesses. Hmm. Looks like we're on the outside looking in, huh? Even so, the fighting's over, and that's something to be happy about. Exactly. Well, that took some doing, but we finally finished the job. We certainly earned our pay. Please tell me we're going to enjoy it. Let's go home, Chief. Let's see now. Shall we head back to Jehenna? I guess we could stop in at the guild and get our next contract, eh? But the Queen's gone. I wonder what Jehenna will do now. I'm sure it'll all work out. After all said and done, it's our home. Come on. Time for Garrick's band to ride. Let's go. Huh. Heads. Looks like I should be getting back as well. Homecoming time. It's over, isn't it? The demon that drove Grotto to madness is dead and gone. I can't believe that I was part of this whole thing. War is over. So much remains to be done. Our country lost this war. The road ahead will be long and hard. That's true, and yet, it's a road we must travel. That's the burden survivors must shoulder. Yes, and we must fulfill the dreams of Emperor Vidgard and Prince Leon. Dosa, Renek, we've done it! <laughs> And a job well done it was, Princess Lurishel. Whew. It's finally over. So, it's about time for me to... Hold it! I gave you no orders to leave! I am the Princess of Rustin, lest you forget! I have many missions yet to fulfill! Come, Dolza, Renak! It's time to go! <laughs> Wait up! Let's move, Renak! The darkness, it's gone. Yes, that's the end. I guess so. Let's return home, Lady Mirror. Our friends and family will be worrying about us. What? Hey, teacher! Where are you going? Wait up, I'm coming with you! You did well, Ross. You're a true warrior. My pride and joy. But you're still the best, father. That's right. My father's the best warrior in all Magville. Ah, I'm glad everyone's so happy, but... we would better not forget the only one with our help. Right, Naomi? We all worked together. Wasn't that great, Cole? 
Hey! Don't start crying, please. Oh, glorious light, were you witness to our victory? The foul demon has been purged from the earth. The ancient demon king was as powerful as the scrolls described, and yet in the end we were able to defeat him. After all, there's no one better than us. Your continued safety is all that matters to me, Princess Erica. General! Princess Erica! We can finally return to Rainus, can't we? Yes, we can go home. All of us unharmed. I'm exhausted. I'd like nothing more than to laze about a while. Alas, we're not gonna have that opportunity, are we, Prince Ephraim? No, the reconstruction of Rainus is going to keep us busy. Keep your strength up. I'm gonna need you in the days ahead. We'll be beside you through it all. Alright, let's go home. Let's go back to the people who are waiting for us. Rust in court. It is time for me to be on my way, my friends. As the Princess of Rustin, I still have many duties to perform. Oh, Princess Erica, if it please you, would, I would be ever so delighted if you joined my tea club. I insist you come. Oh, say that you will, won't you? Of course. You're great friends. I have much to do here in Jehenna. I'll start with what can be done and keep going from there. First, I must talk to Mother. She should know that we've won so that she can rest easily. And at Rennes Castle? We of Fralia will do what we can to aid in the restoration of Rennes. If you have need of our assistance, you have but to ask. I seldom trust people who act from purely altruistic motives, but I'll grant you that friendships are a worthy exception to my distrust. We finally made it home, haven't we? Ah, you must be exhausted after the journey. Shall we rest, Erica? That would be nice. But first, we must seal this away. This stone banished the Demon King. With such power? Do you suppose we could bring back Father and Leon? That everyone who died in this dreadful war could be... Erica. I know, I know. Such things would be... I cannot wish for such things. No matter how it hurts, or rather because it does hurt, we must learn to accept sorrow. We must take it into our hearts and tame our grief. Erica. Tell me, sister. If Leon were here with us, what do you think he would want? What he would want? Yes. You see, I think I know. It was the reason for his studies. It's why he wanted to know about the sacred stones. Or rather, the fire emblem. Let's take Leon's dreams and fulfill them in his stead. We can do that, can't we? Without relying on any mystic power? You're right, brother. We can. Let us fulfill his dreams. As Leon wanted. As we all wanted. So we may live in peace and joy. And with that, 
we come to the end of Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. Now, don't turn away because we have the character endings. Plus, we also have these uh, portraits as well throughout uh, throughout the credits here. But we also have the character endings. Now, the character endings we get will either be single or paired. Some units that uh, have a rank support will get a special paired ending. You'll know because they'll both show up on the screen at the same time once we get to the character endings. Um, everybody else will just have single endings, and this will basically tell us what happened afterwards. How they either grew up or what happened. And here you get some some great scenes. There's Seth just easily parrying uh, Kyle's attack. Because Seth's awesome. <laughs> um... I didn't really go over the supports that much, even on the ending for for uh, for Ephraim's route. But I really hope you enjoyed the uh, you enjoyed the supports that I chose, and you enjoyed the support special. And I really hope you enjoyed this let's play. Um, it has been a long road, <laughs> especially since I've just planned on doing one path, and I've ended up doing both. So. I have no clue what's going to show up after this, but I'm going to talk about this game, um, my feelings on it, and all of that after the character endings, which should be coming up shortly. Here we are at the special thanks. Take a uh, drink of my Sprite here. <laughs> Doing all those voices. <laughs> hope you don't mind. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, the voice acting. I know I'm not professional by any means. Um, but I continuously work on it. It's become a craft at this point. Because I do it a lot for my Let's Plays. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, are you? I'm... My name is Leon. Uh-huh. That's me. The son of the Emperor. You're Prince Ephraim and Princess Erica from Rhenus, aren't you? I heard you were coming, and I've been waiting here all day. I've always wanted... I don't have any friends my own age. So, Prince Ephraim, Princess Erica, what do you say? From now on, let's be friends. And that's when they first met, some years ago. You can see the turns for each of the uh, each of the maps. How long we took. A few of them may be really long because of I did some supports. Maybe not. I think I did all the supports for this route off screen. Well, not off screen, but you saw them. Did it in the special. Franz the Faithful and Amelia the Rose of the War. Franz brought Amelia home with him to Rennes. Amelia spent a short time in Rhenus' army, but once she and Franz were married, she retired her commission. The two had a daughter who grew to be a great knight herself. Now that's a paired ending, because Franz and Amelia were together here. And here's a single ending. Now you see them both. Silent Gilliam. Gilliam returned to his home of Freilia, where he continued to serve the crown as a faithful knight. His imposing countenance was said to strike fear in the hearts of even the most arrogant and brash of Fralia's new recruits. <laughs> Mulder, wise counselor. After the War of the Stones, Mulder continued to serve the royal family of Fralia. His wisdom served to guide King Ennis as it had served King Hayden before him. Ross, his father's son. He returned to Eid, village of his youth, and helped rebuild it after the bandit attack that brought it to ruin. Years later, he set out on his own to perfect his fighting skill and hone both body and spirit. Garcia, the warrior reborn. He returned to Eid to help with its reconstruction after the bandit attack. Afterward, he re-enlisted in the army, serving Rhenus as a troop leader. His strength, valor, and experience inspired many. 
calm, good-natured thief and Naomi the tearful archer. The childhood friends became lovers first, then husband and wife. Worried for Naomi's well-being, Calm gave up his adventurer's ways. Naomi passed on her grandfather's skill in archery to her own son and daughter. Archer, Saint of Light Archer moved to Rhaenys to help rebuild the shattered country. He worked without rest to ease the pain and grief of those who suffered during the war. His self-sacrifice made him into a folk hero among the peasantry. Loot Prodigy After the War of the Stones, Loot returned to Rhaenys to continue her arcane studies. She spent far less time locked in her library, preferring now to explore the outside world. She grew into a great and well-traveled sage. Joshua, the Tempest King. Joshua returned to Jehenna and ruled over it as king. His skills as a leader had grown great, and Jehenna flourished as never before. He never outgrew his love of travel and games of chance. <laughs> Natasha, Sacred Healer. Once the war was over, Natasha returned to Grotto to help rebuild the empire. She dedicated herself to easing the grief of those families that lost soldiers during the war. Ford, the Wild Knight. Upon Ford's return to Rhaenys, his secret hobby of painting was discovered. He was commissioned as a court artist. His work grew popular, and his days became so busy that he often regretted his career change. <laughs> Kyle, Art at Night. His service to the royal family of Rhaenys continued without change. He became a battalion commander and gained much trust and responsibility for training new recruits. Tana, Winged Queen. Tana lived happily in the prosperous post-war Fralia. She flew to Rhaenys often to visit her dear friend Erica. Ennis, king and strategician, Vanessa, dutiful writer. At Ennis's request, Vanessa moved into Castle Fralia, where she continued her duties as a knight of the realm. Thereafter, they had a child and lived happily with the blessing of all around them. Graceful Serene. Serene continued as a commander of Fralia's Pegasus Knights. Her grace and beauty and flight were the subject of many songs and paintings, and her popularity soared. Dussel, Obsidian General. Following the war, Dussel returned to Grotto, where he was instrumental in its rebuilding. He spent his remaining years watching over Grotto and sharing his wisdom with other nations as an ex expert combat instructor. Noel, Watcher of Darkness. Noel returned to Grotto, where he dedicated himself to rebuilding it and fulfilling Leon's vision. When the country was restored to its former glory, he disappeared without a trace, never to be seen again. Cormac, Aloof Lanceman. Cormac returned to Grotto to assist in the reconstruction of his country. Shortly after, he left to wander on his own. When he reappeared, he rejoined the army, not as a knight, but as a common soldier. Larishel, Queen of Light. She succeeded her uncle as ruler of the Rostin theocracy several years after the war ended. She never lost her unique perspective on life. She spent much of her rule visiting the neighboring countries. Dolza of the Steady Axe. As Larishel rose to become queen, he remained by her side, watching Larishel grow to become the queen she was destined to be was Dolza's greatest joy in life. 
Renak, rich, quote, merchant, unquote. Larishel summoned Renak back to Rostin, and he was forced to return. He was never able to escape his service to the self-centered princess who became queen. Admittedly, he didn't try very hard. <laughs> Garrick, the Desert Tiger and Tethys' beloved dancer. Garrick and Tethys remained bound to no nation and beholden to no authority. They bought themselves a leisurely retirement. Garrick taught fencing to city youths, and Tethys found many stages on which to dance. Ewen, enthusiastic student. Ewen continued his studies, modeling his life after the teachings of Soleil. Eventually, his education branched off into different paths. His insatiable curiosity led him on a trip to explore the world. Marissa, the Crimson Flash. Marissa became battalion leader for an elite mercenary force. Many men sought to challenge her to a duel, and none of them stood up to her blade. Mira, the Great Dragon, and Soleil, the Well of Wisdom. Mira returned to Darkling Woods, but at Soleil's request, she eventually moved to Carapolin. In time, the townsfolk learned to treat her not as the great dragon, but rather as a normal girl, and she was happy. Ephraim, the Restoration King. Busy days awaited him upon his return to Rhenus. He oversaw the rebuilding not only of his own country, but also of the entire continent of Magville. His work was difficult, but his success made him a legend. Erica, Restoration Queen, and Seth, the Silver Knight. Upon their return to Rhenus, Erica and Seth were wed with the blessings of Ephraim and all of the Knights of Rhenus. The tale of the love that grew between a princess and her loyal knight became a beloved romance in Rhenus. And that ends Fire Emblem 8, or Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. I really hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play. Really quick, please let me ask if you did enjoy the, uh, the Let's Play, you enjoyed the playthrough, whether you watched this route or both routes together, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. It would really help me out. Also, if you really did like it, um, tell friends, tweet out the channel, and uh, let people know. And that will help the channel grow. I'd greatly appreciate that. And if you do feel so inclined, please do uh, click the links below. There's a link to my Patreon page and a link to uh, my PayPal. If you... Uh, do feel so inclined to leave a tip. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, those links are below in the description. Um, thank you very much for any and all of the things that I just said that you do. It uh, helps me out a lot um, to help me continue this dream that I that I'm going for and to help the channel grow. I love doing this and that will help me continue making videos for all of you. Final thoughts on Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. It's better than I remember. <laughs> At the very beginning I said it was meh. Um, it's better than I remember. I think people should go back. If you haven't played the Sacred Stones in a while, you should go back and play it because you'll probably be like me. It's better than you remember. Um, I still don't think it's one of the best Fire Emblems, to me, that's just a personal opinion. But I think it is a good Fire Emblem. I think I uh, underrated it a little bit. I would have liked to have seen more story about the uh, the Lords a little bit. Get some even more out of Ephraim and Erica. I think that would have been nice, especially Erica and Leon. Get more out of that dynamic, because it's really good what they have there. And to get even more out of it would be really cool. 
Um, I chose that ending for Erica because I really do like that one where uh, it's her and Seth. And I like that paired ending. As much as I like their support conversations, I know that paired ending, so I wanted to show that one off. Um, good game. Good game. And like I said, this was a journey for me because I did not expect it to be this long. Because <laughs> I was initially, if you don't remember or don't know, I was initially just going to do Ephraim's route. But I had several uh, commenters, several people ask, hey, or just say, oh, I'm sad that you're doing Ephraim's route, I wanted to see Erica's route. Or, oh, I wanted to see you do both routes. And so, I took it upon myself, people wanted it, so that's how I work as a Let's Player. If I can do it, I will. And, and if I want to. <laughs> um... But I did. I wanted to do that for all of you. So here we are at the end of both routes now because I do uh, Ephraim's first, the way these videos are that you've seen. So this will be the complete finale of Fire Emblem. The Sacred Stones. Um, it was a lot of fun, I have to say. And for as much as all my faults were pointed out, <laughs> I hope you all saw that I'm pretty good at this game even though I haven't played it for a while. And that I'm just a pretty good game player in general. Hope you all feel the same way. Uh, what's next, you may ask? I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> I don't even know if uh, it'd be a strategy game because I just finished XCOM 2. Well, not just finished by the time this, this video comes out. It'll have been a week or two. I'll have finished XCOM 2, and then now this. So I'm probably going to take a break from strategy games for a while. Unless I just see when it's like, man, I really want to play that. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what, what comes next. I would tell you what to, see, what to expect next, but I honestly don't have any clue. <laughs> it may have already started, for all I know. By the time of, at the time of this recording. Thank you all very much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun. Until whatever comes up next, again, one last time, please consider clicking links below and consider uh, leaving a tip or donating. It would really help me out. Or at the very least, try to spread the word about the channel and uh, thumbs up the video, give it a like. That'll help uh, people find it easier and gives the channel a better chance to grow subscribe to the channel if you're not all of those I would be very grateful for any and all until whatever comes next in the comments let me know what you thought about the endings that we got the few paired endings and let me know uh, what you thought about the game as a whole like I said this one um, not as bad as I remember it. It's, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. It really was. One last thing, since this is going to be the finale finale. Press start, sends you back here. If you restart at the epilogue, you get to see the ending again. And then I can press start and just go through it. <laughs> and then we'll be back here. I just want to show that off. So it just uh, it just goes through there, as you see. There is one last thing I need to go over, and I'll just go over that. With map, you can actually go back to the map. With this, you can buy stuff. You can also test out the uh, Legato Ruins. So you can do it after you've finished. You can go try to tackle all of the tower, but the ruins will be a, a much more difficult challenge. You can also enter the secret shops. Or so you can enter some secret shops. 
Um, and they'll have different stuff. You just go to different places and they'll have secret shops there for you. And as you can see, here you can buy uh, stat boosters. You can buy physics stuff. You can buy aura. Brave bow. Brave weapons. Oh, axe and bow, anyway. A sham shear spear. And there's some different places. I don't remember where all of them are. Go and explore for yourself. Have some fun with it. Uh, one more thing. Let me reset the game. One last thing. Uh, you can see all your support conversations. But if you start a new game, so you erase data, I erase this uh, split path here, a new journey. Once you've completed, I think you have to complete both routes. There is a special thing you can do with the trainees, which is Amelia, if you remember, Amelia, Ross, and Ewan. They have a super trainee class. Basically, when you get to class change, uh, there'll be a trainee option. And then you choose it. And they say a trainee, but they have uh, 20 levels to grow. It's like they class change, but they stay as a trainee. Then, at the end of it, you can choose at level 20, you class change them just like you normally would. With a promotion item. And then they can become a trainee too. It's known as Super Trainee to the to the Fire Emblem community. That's what most people call it. Is the as a Super Trainee, and they get a they still act like a trainee, except they get a bonus. Um, Ross and Amelia get plus fifteen to crit, I believe is what they get, and Ewen gets access to staffs and light magic, I believe. There you go. It's just a bonus thing. It's not super great <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to point that out because I don't think I ever pointed it out that will bring this let's play to a close um, consider what I said before and until whatever comes next again I really hope you had a lot of fun with this let's play and until whatever comes next thank you very much for watching I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.